something you're never going to believe what I've just found. Good morning, me again. We are off to the New Forest today. Um, so, if any of you are in the UK, you know it is the middle of winter and we've had some really, really cold weather. We've had a couple of storms. I know a lot of the countries had snow, but not where I live because I'm unlucky. Um, and we've suddenly had a change in weather and it's starting to get warm. So, it's my day off from work today. The sun's out, it's like 10 degrees Celsius. So, I've headed down to one of my local national parks to have a wander in some areas that I haven't been to before and see what we come across. So it's a really low sun, so it's a bit blinding at the moment. I don't know how it's gonna be for photos, but yeah, we'll have a little wander and see, see what we find and show you around. We've arrived so we're at a place called ornamental drive um, it's a place where you've got lots of giant sort of sequoia trees so really really nice i'm not going to go down the normal route because it's really busy today so i'm going to sort of loop around and come in the opposite end i think to just try and avoid some of the crowds but at the moment i'm just walking along this nice little river we've got here i am um, as always though i've got to put my walking boots on um, and I also didn't grab my coat because I thought when I got out of the car I was still in the sun and it felt quite warm but I'm wondering now if I'm going to regret that so I am um, just walking around the ground here is um, very muddy and very soft you can see all the hoof prints from horses I think um, ooh, and the rope swing too but the area looks really nice so we're going to do a walk try and take some pictures and catch up with you when we find something cool Right, I've got off of that swampy, nice little path. So that's back out there in the sunshine. And we are now in the woods. Oh. So I'm going through all the undergrowth at the moment. So hopefully, who knows, you might find some mushrooms in bits. I don't know if it's now going to be too cold for that or not. But you've got all these beautiful mossy floors. And there's lots of birds tweeting as you can hear in the background but I'm not, uh, not finding anything at the moment so not anything close enough anyway but we'll keep looking I think I'm just coming up to the other side of this, this place with all the trees we can walk through I love love all this dark green moss right I am um, I found the rear entrance to the auditorium but I've actually walked in the opposite direction so the rear entrance is behind me all the way at the end of this path and um, i'm walking away from it and i'll look back through that as my last part of my journey so at the moment i'm just coming up to some crossroads did just try filming some squirrels but didn't have much luck they am um, they're a bit fast so just going to decide now which way i want to go get up into the middle of the crossroads first before we make a decision and then we get an idea of where we're going Ooh, well that sunshine's gonna be nice. Yeah. Alrighty, so we can go straight, right. Obviously not gonna go back on ourselves, or left, which is where we were earlier. So I'm gonna go right. We're gonna go this way. It looks really nice, really open, sunny, so hopefully that'll give us uh, more of an opportunity to shoot some birds and bits. Got it! 
gutted, gutted. Just had a really nice buzzard sort of come over, but didn't manage to get it in time. I mean, all of these like towering trees. And there's a big open spot in the middle back here. And it was like soaring over. I think it was obviously looking for looking for something, but there must be somewhere else that's gone nearby. Another open patch, maybe a field or something. I can't see anything now. So I'm continuing this walk down this nice sunny path. I uh, just managed to get some footage of a robin, but didn't stick around for too long. Um, it seems like the animals here don't like people. Don't know why. Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be out. It's warm. Who's complaining? Not me. Not me for sure. But hopefully we see a little bit more. At some point I'll uh, loop back. I might go over the other side of the road and loop back and actually go in the front of the um, the arbitorium because it'd be nice to walk back in a different route. But yeah, this is... If you watch my Carden and Woods video, you'll know that this is my element. I absolutely love being in these beautiful sort of pine style forests. Love it. Jake's aside, um, we are literally in the middle of the woods, but I've seen these paths, they're actually all roads. So you can open the gates at the end and drive down them. A lot of people don't realize it. They park them in the car parks, not knowing they can actually drive through the forest. Um, at least that's as far as I'm aware, that's how it appears. But I've also got to keep jumping over these little, I don't know if this is like what we saw at the mines, whether these are like leeks or something, because I'm pretty sure this is all like planted forest here, but I have to keep jump in these little bits oh. and I swear at some point I'm gonna miss um, but yeah it's um it's definitely made easier now the fact that I have a hand free because I got this little peak design capture clip thing um, I see lots of people use them so you can attach your camera to your bag and it it just bobs around and I wasn't sure how I was gonna get on because I've got you know, my camera with a big battery grip and a big lens on it, and I thought, mm, maybe actually it's going to be a bit much. Um, but it, it seems to work pretty well. So when I'm using the GoPro, or just when I want a break for my arms without having to put it back away in my bag, it can just go on the clip and hold it really well. I mean, I'm jumping over things and it's not falling off. So, so far I'm really, really impressed with it. And so yeah, if you're a photographer, get one of these Peak Design capture clip. Um, it just goes on your bag, or you can put it on a belt or anything like that. They do also have a, um, uh, I think it's called a Capture Clip Pro and it's like a bit of fabric that goes round the belt so you can attach it to a belt better but yeah, definitely recommended. So if you know the New Forest, you know one thing the New Forest is really well known for is New Forest ponies. Uh, so all over the New Forest they roam free, a bit like if you go to Wales you have sheep roaming free and if you go to the Forest of Dean you have boar in the New Forest. It's New Forest ponies. I've just come across some. Which to be fair, I've been walking for a few hours now, I haven't seen them yet, but they um they just hang out and don't really do much. We also get donkeys here and in October they even release pigs, but there you go. I've got to remember that although they are technically owned by people, they are deemed to be wild horses, so although they're around people all the time. I have been known to trample people, so I'm not going to get too close, but I am going to get some pictures and introduce you to these guys. Right, I'm not having you on this time. This time I am a little bit guided. There was a, um, there was a, a small deer of some sort, literally just on the other side of this fern here. I had the wrong lens on and I Stuck down very quietly to try and change it, and it sat there watching me. I was changing my lens. 
because before I managed to get it on, it ran off again. And it looked like a little, I think they're called muntjac deer, which I think, pretty sure I read somewhere that they're a, a pretty rare deer to see. I've never seen one before, but it ran off this direction. So I'm going to try and, I've got my lens changed over. I'm going to try and follow the direction it went and see if I can either catch up with it or relocate it. It's a great big hole in the fence here, so it may have gone back into this area, but I'm just going to have a little look around the area and see if I can find it again. We'll see. Nah, I've had a little wander around, I can't see it. I've gone into sort of bushes and the trees here and I've come around the corner and had a look around here and tried to scan over there, but can't see it. So it doesn't get much more peaceful than this. Out in the middle of nowhere, no one around me. Just bliss, and it was a lovely little stream running on past. This is the correct way to spend your days off, absolutely. Just come up to a little ford here. There was a sign for earlier that said that, you know, in adverse weather, the ford may not be crossable. Um, I mean, I think this, depending on what you drive, is already not gonna be crossable. I mean, you can see from my feet there, that's gotta be a foot and a half deep in the middle. Maybe. It's definitely, um, I mean, it's good for the boots. Wash the boots off, great. But I think we're definitely going to be going over the over the bridge and not through the uh, not through the water. Maybe another time. Maybe when it's warmer, my feet will dry off. Right, I think we're on the home stretch now. We're uh, sort of looping back around to the car park, but I just want to show you the colours through this bit. Gorgeous. You've got all these sort of like weedy things, and the sun's just breaching through the trees, and it's getting really low now. It just looks fantastic. You could be, you could be anywhere else in the world. You wouldn't think this is the UK. But yeah, I'm gonna try and get back so I can go over the road and just go into the arbitorium, even if it's just a quick once round, quick wander. Um, so yeah, the sun's really blinding. I'm gonna speed up and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get around there shortly and you'll see it all. Right, guys, I found more deer. You probably can't see them on GoPro, they're way back there in the woods. So before they fuck off, I'm going to try and get some pictures and get some video and rad that on. But the sun's going down, it just looks really cool, so I'm going to try and creep towards them. Shh. Guys, I don't know if you can see this on the GoPro or not, but there's a stag like right here. Watching me. He was all the way over at the back and he came all the way forward to, I don't know, I suppose, get in between me and the herd. The sun's going down and they lock the car park at dusk, so I've got to get a move on, but oh, this is amazing. Awesome, awesome.
that was awesome. That's uh, definitely highlight of the day. So after not managing to see that little deer earlier, I just managed to get a load of pictures and video of some stags and bits. Oh, that was awesome. It's awesome. It's the fact that, you know, he, he came, what in my eyes would be pretty damn close. Um, I'm still keeping a bit quiet because they're only just over here on the other side of this sort of ferns. You can probably even hear him still rubbing his antlers up against the trees and bits, but that was just, oh, that was amazing. That was definitely, oh, pardon me. Um, that was amazing. It was definitely the coolest deer experience I've ever had. Um, I was hoping I'd see some, but I didn't think I'd get to see them that up close and that many of them. So yeah, that was really cool. So, highlight of, highlight of the video for sure. We'll see you in I am. I'm sorry, back now you can see the sun is doing behind the trees. I don't really know how far away from the car park I am. I'm pretty sure I follow this. This takes me all the way back to the road and then I have to turn right along the road. So we're going to find out and if there's any more pictures and bits along the way, any opportunities, then you shall see them. If not, I'll catch up with you when we're back at the car. Right, back to the car park. Just come back over this little bridge here. And I think it's customary to do a drop. We're done. Back at the car park now. That's just over here. I'm just going to get across a couple more of these little bits. Oh. Oh. That wasn't so bad. Uh, I think to be fair, this bit, well, that looks boggy, probably isn't. You can see that it's just sort of little channels of it. So, again, I still wonder if this is maybe. I don't know if it is natural whether this was diverted through here. I don't know. Some areas of it look planted, some of the areas of it look really natural. But yeah, no mushrooms today, lots of moss, birds, deer overall a good day. Oh man. Oh. Just got mud all in my shoe and amazing. Right. The car's literally just there, so I'm gonna get back to the car, change my shoes over, go home and make some dinner. See you next time.